Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, we are covering how we can configure and securely connect remotely on a Windows server using our admin. Remote desktop access is one of the best technologies that exist out there. Having the ability to control a computer from almost anywhere is just mind-boggling. There are tons of remote desktop applications available out there that are utilized for different purposes. One of the great things about this technology is you get to use a computer as if you were personally present there. Having this capability while being miles away is incredible. There are so many use cases of the remote desktop technology that one could just go and on about its different purposes. From being able to use your work computer while being at the comfort of your home to providing IT support to your employees and customers, the use cases of a remote control software just goes on and on. However, that is not why we are here to discuss the use cases. One of the downsides of the remote desktop software is the security of the established connections. Most of the software or tools built for this purpose are are often vulnerable to several exploits and your remote connection is not really secure. Hence, you are always on the edge of the sword. However, there exists a software that has been proved impenetrable in this department. Our admin is a secure remote access software that offers security and reliability to its customers. To establish a remote connection via our admin, there are two main components required. Our admin server and our admin viewer. The server is to be installed on the remote computer that you wish to access and the R admin viewer goes on your local PC. Hence, with the help of these tools, you can establish a connection to the computer. Installing remote admin server and remote admin viewer is our first step. Before we get into the main topic and for you to be able to follow through, you'll be you'll have to install our admin server and our admin viewer. The link is given in this video's description, which is open here. Just click on the download button to download the installer. The installation process is very simple and and does not require any configurations. Once you have downloaded the tool, extract the zip file to any place of your liking. Make your way to the set place and then install the tool on their respective system. Let's open it. Now, these are two packages. One is our admin server and one is our admin viewer. So, our admin server should be installed on the computer where you intend to remote login into. So let me copy this file or in fact just extract these files here. This zip file contains our admin server and our admin viewer. Our admin server will go to the computer where you intend to remote login. Let me bring up that computer. So this is our target computer. I'm going to paste this file here and then I'll just run the installer. This is the computer that I would like to use remotely. So I'm just going to install our admin server on this computer. Follow through the wizard to install this software. Okay, so the installation is complete. Let's click on finish. This will launch the our admin server for the configuration here. So let's go to our second computer where we intend to view or log in to this computer. So this is the next computer from where we intend to use the target computer. I'm just going to double click on our admin viewer to run the installer. Installer is pretty straightforward so just go through the steps from this installer. Click on yes if you are prompted with USC prompt and click on finish. Let me close all these windows. So after installation, we have to configure our admin server. Once you have installed our admin server on the remote PC, you'll have to configure it. 
The configuration involves quite a few things, but we will go to the most important and relevant things to make it easier. Okay, so let's go to Start menu and click on Settings for our admin server. First of all, we need to select the startup mode. So we'll put it automatic so that whenever this computer starts, this R admin tool should get started. If you put it manual, then you will have to run this software every time when you want to remote in. So the next thing is security. Using R admin, you can even restrict the incoming remote connections to logins and passwords and thus specific users will be able to access the remote computer. For this purpose, you will have to add users to the R admin server. This will even strengthen the security of your remote connections. On the R admin server settings, click on permissions. After that, you can click on permissions button in this pop-up window. On the new window, you can click on add user. You can create a new user here. Just provide username and confirm the passwords. And these users can be created as much as you want. The second thing in terms of security is the IP filtering. If you wish to restrict the incoming remote connections from a specific network, you can use the IP filtering functionality of the tool. This will restrict the incoming connections to a specific IP or an IP address range. On the settings, just click on Options and click on IP Filter. On this screen, click on Enable IP Filter and then click on Add. From here, you can either provide a single IP address to allow the remote connections from or you can also provide an IP address range from where you can accept the remote connection on this computer. Now you can ask the user permission and login. On our admin server, you can configure it to ask the remote user permission every time you try to connect to the remote computer. Other than that, you can also have the server to create log files whenever any error occurs so you can know what is causing the issue. On our admin server settings, click on options and then click on ask user permissions. You can configure it to allow or deny automatically after a certain period of time. For logging you can log different type of errors. The option can be seen in the drop down. This can be critical errors, medium errors, or small errors or all errors. Choose whatever you would like to log and then click on OK. Alright, so the next thing is how to securely connect to a remote computer. Now that we have configured the R admin server, we are ready to connect to the remote computer. To be able to connect, make sure you have installed R admin viewer on your local computer or home PC. Once you have installed the R admin viewer, you can connect to the remote system. To do this, you will need the IP address of the remote computer. You can find the IP address by opening a command prompt and typing ipconfig. So just press Windows and R key, type cmd and say ipconfig. So my IP is 172.168.9.1. You can also transfer files to the remote system via our admin VR. The file transfer goes the other way around as well. Once you have IP address, you can open the remote admin VR. So let me go to my home PC. In here, let's open remote admin VR. Click on this connect icon and provide the IP address here. Now here make sure that you have selected full control. Once you have provided the IP address, click on OK. Now this will start connecting to the remote computer. So here provide the username and password that you have created. Okay, and this will connect 
to the remote computer this way. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.